Today we are in South Bend, Indiana, home of the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, and we are at Pure Green Farms. My friend Jim here is gonna give us a tour, and this is the slice of life. Ready to see some lettuce? I am so ready, Jim. This is so exciting to show the guests what go onto their plate. Let's go check it out. All right, let's do it. Uh, so I'll give you kind of just an overview real quick now, and then we'll, uh, we'll suit up and we'll start at the start where the seeds are sown. We'll follow them all the way through the green, greenhouse and around the outside. On the other side of that garage door is our harvest and pack area. So that's where it ends. Okay. So it kind of starts right here with this big machine. Um, and it fills the gutters and shoots them in and around. So these big things here on your left, those are peed. And that is a, uh, that's our grow media. And that comes, some of it comes from Europe, some of it comes from Canada. So the peat moss is the quote unquote dirt that it's grown in. Right. It doesn't even, it's not moist, so it doesn't stick to your hands or anything. That's crazy. Yeah. We use what's called nutrient film technique, and we refer to these as gutters. They're uh, about 19 feet long. We fill them with peat. That's what this machine's doing here. And then it brings them over here to go through one at a time. And this will uh, tamp it and clean and see how it just catches the peat. Because we don't want any peat on the side of the gutters. And that's really just the outside too. Very cool. They have to take a gutter out all the way on the harvest side for us to put one in here. So if they're delayed in packaging, this will just stop if they're changing something on that end. Because they're always replenishing what you're taking. Right, we sow and harvest every day. It takes about 25 days from sowing to harvesting. So we grow a piece of lettuce in about 25 days, depending on, what, on the variety. You know, like uh, our baby arugula, it takes like 19 days. Um, our green leaf is right around 24. Red leaf romaine's about 25. Yeah. So give it some water right down that middle, and then this thing seeds it. Super cool. And so the, the seeding, there's a couple controls here that you notice on the seeding. One, if you've ever seen a lettuce seed, it's about a third of that size. These seeds are actually encapsulated in clay, and that clay lets this machine pick them up, and the spacing has to be just right. What is this? Oh, that's the arugula. That's arugula. See, now that seed's not encapsulated in clay. And when we get in there, you'll see the difference in how it grows versus everything that is encapsulated in clay. Now we're turning the gutter the other direction because they go this way along the building in there. So that essentially you have to make two turns. You have to turn to get it in and then you turn it again to get it out and harvest it. So as we come up here, we do a 360 in the air wash, just, to, just in case there's any kind of bugs or anything on you. So there's two levels, uh, essentially germination is done on the bottom. Remember how we were talking about those little seeds are encapsulated in clay and they got a crack open for it to germinate? You can actually see the little cracked pellets mm. all the way along there. That's pretty wild that like those seeds, they just get sat on there. They don't even get pushed in the soil or anything. They just sit right on there. Yeah, they crack and then the roots go down and the shoot goes up. Very cool. And what's amazing is when you get to the other end, the amount of root material that they've made is, is pretty wild. And now there's four different nutrient mixes that are being fed to the plants. So you see all these little hoses on the left. They trickle water in, and then that water runs all the way down to this side, and you see this end of the tray is open, and we capture that water and recirculate it, and that's how we're 90% less water. This machine here will actually pick them up and put them up on the grow table as one's going out on the other end. Mm. And we saw where they were putting them in down there, so yeah. every time they put one in, there's 19 lines here. One of them is moving. So this was about 12 days here. So it looks about the same then? Yeah, this should be the same all the way across. They might be off by one day. Um, some of them, they space at uh, 25 days, some at 24. This is our um, green leaf. This is called Finstar, Finstar varietal. We grow this 100% uh, 
uh, pesticide free, herbicide free. It's non-GMO. Um, this is this is really safe and healthy uh, green produce for you. So somebody could, I mean, you could just eat this right off the, the vine then. We're going to at the other end. Great. Yeah, we're gonna let it get uh, mature and we're gonna pull it right off there and take a bite. Should have brought some dressing, dump it on. <laughs> so we're down here now where this, um, this plant's 25 days old and uh, we can grab a piece off the end here if you wanna take a bite. That's fantastic. See, and this plant's famous because it gives you this, this great curl here. And that is so sweet and crunchy. Um, I mean, that's really the magic of Finstar. So these just push off here smack on this tray and then it shoots it down no matter where they're harvesting from. You got it. And if you notice, it gets higher all the way along there. It's it gradually so dropping it. it. Gradually gets lower, yeah. So depending on what they're harvesting, they're kind of pulling mixed batches and so if it's like a blend, then they'll pull. Yeah, so it's done by gutter. So it might be five gutters of green to two gutters of red to one gutter of arugula and that, you know, and a gutter of romaine, that would make spring mix. And then each of these has a different weight, so that comes into the calculation too. We only get about two pounds out of each one of these arugula gutters. This green leaf gutter, I'll get about almost five pounds out of each gutter. So there's a huge variation in the amount of uh, yield that the gutter produces. So once the, once the product's mixed, it goes up that belt elevator to a machine that's called the Yoshida. The Yoshida weighs it based on if we're making a four ounce container, an eight ounce, or a, a two and a half pound bag. It'll do that and it'll shoot it down into this machine that fills the trays with lettuce. And then they go into the multi-vac where the retail lettuce trays are sealed. Earthbound Farms, Great Lakes brand. You can find this in a grocery store near you, Central Ohio. It will be at Myers. You can check this out. So many customers ask, where can they find our lettuce in store? This is it. This is a quality premium product that we're putting on every single plate for you. So this here is what the lettuce comes to us in, in the store. From home to home, onto your plate. Special shout out to Pure Green Farms. Thanks so much for letting us come in today. Check out your operation. Check out the amazing people that you have working on your team. Boy, it was a pretty mind blowing experience for me to see the amount of love and labor that goes in to each and every plate on your table. Until next time, this is The Slice of Life.